This is the foundry we've been heading for, at Valentine and Bowen S Iron Company. And it's been here since 1820 and employs over 100 people. And this is it. Here they cast everything from pillar boxes to lamp standards to beautiful iron railings and, you know, for places as far away as London and maybe all over the world, you know. But, you know, looking around at the quality of the workmanship and the ornamental stuff, there can't be many places as good as what this place is, believe me. If you come through this, we lads, yeah. Through you come. Through you come. Hmm. Oh, there's some lovely tattle in here, isn't there? Yes, it's really, yeah. really nice. This yeah. is uh, one of our pattern stores here, Fred. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as you can see, mm. we can match up just about any head mm. with any bar. Mm. And mm. these days, that's sort of big business for yeah. us. Oh, oh, the restoration yeah. work yeah. in parks and mm. what have you. I don't think we've ever counted them, but I think we've got over 100,000 patterns within mm. the foundry. So it's mm. a lot. Mm. It's a bloody lot, yeah. Yeah. But many of these mm. patterns will date back to, you know, when the foundries oh, yeah. first started. Yeah. And you'll still have them mm. patterns somewhere. Absolutely. Really? Never, mm. ever throw any throw patterns anywhere. that have. Mm. No, never do. Never do. Mm. Mm. A lot of people don't realise that every one of these had to be made out of wood, didn't it, before yes. it was made Absolutely. out of wood or cast iron. Absolutely. You know, it's there's some skill there, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. In you go, boys. This is a pattern yeah, shop, yeah, lads. Yeah. Aye. The yeah. life starts here. Yeah. Yeah. We're one of the last general job in foundries mm. that's left these yeah. days. The sorts mm. of things like postcards and drawings, mm. And, mm. and they go into the, they come into the pattern shop. And mm. the lads like Alan here and yeah. William and Brian and the boys, mm. they, uh, they, they, they sort of turn it into reality if you want. Yeah. You know? mm. And then to here it sort of goes down to the shop to be cast. Yeah. It's nice to see the sort of cast iron coming mm. back, sort of fighting oh, back against yeah. all the yeah. plastics well, and the very the durable bars, stuff, nice. isn't it? Indeed. They don't, they don't rot away yeah. like steel. <laughs> Indeed, indeed. Right, I'll mind your feet as you come down yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So this, Fred, this is the next stage from the pattern shop here. Yeah. Mm. Once the pattern's made, they mm. come down here into the moulding shop. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you recognise this is a, a baller, yeah. the street baller, street furniture. That's another yeah. big thing that we do. And this is, the Ricky here yeah, is closing the, the box the cores, up. Aren't they, yeah, they're yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. And you can see the dark core there, so yeah. the metal sort of goes round about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The can of soap mm. production, Fred, we've got to let them oh, go on. Yeah, yeah. Just blowing all the extra dust out so there's no any residue there. But, eh, uh, mm. aye, so we do the street furniture. We do big lamp posts here. Mm. Uh, oh, the, mm. when this is our heavy end, so-called, because the, the larger, heavier castings are made in here. And you can see the size of the boxes. Mm. They're big. But when we move on to the next stage, you'll see a lot of the smaller castings, mm. smaller mm. things, you know. That's okay, mate. Yeah. So when that's that fair, I think we should move on into the next one. Yeah. So right. yeah. You didn't want to fight with this boy, eh? <laughs> yeah. I tell no, you. No, no, you're bigger hey. than me. Yeah. So this is the, the main moulding shop we're going through to now. This is the main moulding shop. Jacket seems to have been set on fire a few times. <laughs> There's three ton of metal in the furnace. It all arrives at once, and each different shop gets a ton. And they sort of have different turns uh, when yeah. the metal is, just to make sure you know they all, they all get an equal chance of going home a wee bit early. That's about the yeah. size of it. So that's it coming now. This will be uh, ductile iron or spherodial graphite, but I can't see that with my teeth. <laughs> but you laughed at what's wrong with my teeth. <laughs> metal goes into the ladle yeah. and that's the magnesium that's, yeah. uh, that's making it as bright as you yeah. see it there lads yeah. and that'll bring all the impurities yeah. up to the top you kind of have yeah. that going into the, the, the casting because yeah. the, the impurities would be in the casting that's I'm just popping the ladle up there yeah. so get the wheel on for pouring and tilting until oh, yeah, it comes yeah. into the yeah. shop there so this is the, the, the molten yeah. metal coming through into the molding shop now. Yeah. It's a bit of like a, a fight of Guinness there, Fred, whereby all the impurities come up to the top 
as you see, the, the furthest man has a thing like Neptune's form, and he takes all the, the, the slag off the top, yeah. so that we're left with the pure metal there. That's the green sand moulding uh, plant there. It's still done in the traditional way with the hand ladles, as you see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you've got to be pretty strong. To cut. I think one of the lads was seeing this. Yeah, it's, I know, man, it's not as though you're just doing one, is it? Yes, I uh, got yeah. all them holes for fill up. Yeah. You've got to be a real man to do yeah, that. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. You think you'd, uh, you'd be up for it these uh, days, well, you think? Up until my present state of health, I'd have right. been all right with you'd that. Be fine. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I tell you, you're more of yeah. a man than me, mate. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, be able yeah. for that. Brian, are you getting older or is that getting heavier? It's getting heavier. <laughs> In the end, he's going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. So uh, he'll be a big, strong lad. Yeah. You wouldn't let him give you Green, a He's playing him on as well. Oh, yeah. He has to take him Can off. you see the height he's got to lift up? Yeah. It's a man's job. The pattern will be in the box there. The box is in two parts. The pattern's placed yeah. in there, pulled out. You put the core in, yeah. close the box up, clamp it down, and then the metal is poured yeah. through the, 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 yeah, the blowholes there. Yeah. But it is really, it's, it's just really to make sure you get a, a continuous flow of good yeah. quality metal. It's the idea of like the three pouring holes. Well, it's just to make sure that you get an yeah. equal flow through the moulding yeah, box thread. Yeah, That's about the size of yeah. it. But uh, it's certainly an age-old process, and we've yeah. been here for a long, long time. Oh, this, this like, area is very famous for fundraising. It, it really is, central Scotland. Yeah, we're, the, we're back to 1803, you know, yes, and the Iron Works. Yeah. That's yeah. right. We, we've been here for a, since about 1820, the, the company yeah. was uh, started there. I think it was established in about 1856, and it has been in the Ballantyne family now. And yeah, and Mr. Yeah. Ballantyne is yeah. still, you know, the yeah. you know, son and heir. And mm, right. good news for us, he has a young son, so hopefully oh, he'll come yeah. along and join us. He's, yeah. he's at university at the minute. But yeah. uh, the yeah. other good thing about Mr. Ballantyne and that is when he was coming into the shop at first, his father made him come here and do this. Yeah, he he yeah, made him do the yeah. moulding and yeah. he worked in the pattern yeah. shop and he worked in the fitting shop. So yeah. it's, uh, you know, so you'd have a real insight into yeah, the, the yeah, job itself. Uh, sadly, there's, you know, we're getting less and less, and we're one of the last few standing now. Yeah. Just recently, two of the largest foundries in Scotland yeah. just closed down there, and yeah. you've got to feel for the men and the skills yeah. that are, are sort of left on the street now, Fred. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. we soldier on. How long does it take one of your molders to learn that traditionally, till he can be left on his own? It's it's really a, a five-year apprenticeship. You know, there are a lot of father and son combinations in here. So they'll, yeah. you know, learn the skills from their dad. <laughs> Every moulder's responsible for his own ladle. At the end of the day, he'll need to chop that out back to the metal and then reline it, get it dried off. We've got little individual dryers. And then, you know, it's ready for the next day again. In 1950, there were more than 200 foundries like this in central Scotland. Now this is one of the only ones left. Mm.